and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought it would be pretty fun to show you guys what I'm gonna bring with me to a holiday party that I am going to this weekend. We are in full on Christmas season now and I've got lots of holiday parties to go to and I'm sure you do too. You might be running out of ideas of what to bring with you, so I've got you covered. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a charcuterie board and a little dessert plate, so let's get into it. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys everything you will need for the charcuterie board. I just ran to Trader Joe's earlier today and picked up everything. Trader Joe's is the perfect place to shop when you're making something like this. They've got everything you need and it's a lot less expensive than other grocery stores. The first thing I picked up is this box of organic crackers. There's like six different types in here. So this is perfect because everyone is bound to have a cracker in here that they like. <laughs> And then I got some little mini pickles, and I also got some artichoke hearts. I got the peppered salami. Peppered salami is my favorite type of salami. I got this little assorted package of salami and prosciutto. And then I got the Trader Joe's olive tapenade. I love this stuff. It's like a chunky olive tapenade. It's really good. You should definitely try this if you like olives. So the next thing I got is two types of cheese. I got this white cheddar cheese and these little mini brie's. I personally don't eat cheese, but my boyfriend Sam would probably be pretty bummed if I didn't put cheese on the charcuterie board. Oh, and then I also have these little mini rice crackers. These are my favorite crackers from Trader Joe's. I already started eating them, so that's why the little clip is on there. So when I was looking around my cabinets for a board to use, I decided that I really didn't like any of the ones that I have. I like them, but they're all like pink and don't look like Christmassy. So I'm getting a little creative. I'm going to use this vintage tray that I have. And obviously I'm not gonna put like salami straight on this plate. So what I'm going to do is take this plastic cutting board that I have, and then I'm going to wrap it in this waxed food wrap that I have. So I think it's going to be festive and turn out pretty cute. So now I'm just going to start assembling. Okay, so this is how the tray turned out. I love how it looks. I added some like greenery around the edges as well. And I think it turned out perfect. In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling So now I'm going to get into the little dessert plate. I'm going to show you guys what I got for it. So I got strawberries, blackberries, and raspberries. I got the chocolate hummus from Trader Joe's. If you have not tried this yet, you have to. It's so good. And then I got two bars of dark chocolate. One I'm going to melt and dip some of my fruit in, and one is just going to be cut up to be on the plate. And then I got my favorite sunflower butter cups. They're so good. And then last but not least, I got some mandarins. Oh, I forgot to show these. They are so cute. They are little mini chocolate mousse presents. They sound so good. And I thought they were the perfect little treat to add to the board. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to make it. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.
comments below what you're gonna bring to a holiday party I would love to hear and yeah I think that's it don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye